This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires a company, parent, or adult guardian. Mission to 15. We're watching Silence of the Lambs, oh, which is right. the second. Is it a horror movie? I don't know. Could be the highest horror rated horror movie on the list. Who knows? I mean, I think it is. Uh, 1991. I think so, too. I don't know. Is seven a horror movie? We'll find out next week. That's true. Uh, directed by Jonathan Demi. Uh, the synopsis of this movie is a young FBI cadet. If you don't know this movie, then turn on TNT during Halloween week and you'll see a nice edited version on there 24-7. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think everyone's seen it. Uh, which is also pretty awesome. Uh, so t- we're doing a quick review here. Sure. 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, you guys go first because then I'll go my short one and then continue on. All right. Actually, no, it's TC's turn to go first. I'll go first. This week. That's so usual. I'll start. This movie is the highest rated <laughs> horror movie and it deserves to be. Uh, I've seen this a bunch of times and there's even though there's some like flaws in the logic of the plot, every single scene is classic. Oh, my and God. Is, is amazing. It's to unbelievable. Watch. Yeah. That's it, John. Uh, yeah, again, just some iconic performances, like just it, some of the most iconic performances of any film. Uh, some of the things mm-hmm. don't seem to have aged well, like the score and the close-up framing and what? zooming. Yes, what? I know to me, but uh, score but, was um, awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but still, again, you can't deny like just just the the characters in in the film and and the sequences, some of the way things, the, the action sequences and stuff. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think uh, it's probably one of the better films in general. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's got to be his best performance and maybe her best performance. Hopkins? Yeah, Hopkins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and Buffalo Bills well, and I the mean, girl in the world. Well, basically Christ. everyone in the movie. And they're not yeah. the scariest two people you've ever seen on one screen. Mm-hmm. I mean, holy yep. shit. Like Two villains. Just two awful people, and two they're both very scary too. in their own way. Because yeah, yeah. one's out of mm-hmm. his fucking mind, and the other one's out of his mind, but very controlled. And it's like mm-hmm. worst. It's like all the bad things that you could think of in you know two people. I, yeah, I really liked this one. I think that the uh, I understand where John's coming from with the score, but I didn't dislike it. But I do know that it did feel dated yeah. in the sense that like you knew this was made in the you know right. that period of the '90s era of just like that synth right. whatever that and synth I don't know is if it's also when they just, started you yeah. know? I'm getting pissed off how dare you guys the score is amazing it, it, you, I just said it was dated yeah, that's yeah, it but yeah, it yeah. doesn't sound bad it's also possible <laughs> you know, it just but. needs to be remixed or so it sounds kind of warbly like it's just old well what did you watch it I don't know because that I, always affects everything it could be too, I don't know if know? there is well I just got it through you watched it on a wax yeah, record yeah that's right Sync that up with like mono, a mono in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Humid, yeah. very humid. Right. It's, a, it's available Just, on MGM Plus, you know. Ah. The what the fuck? Top. How many streaming oh God, services know, are there? But everybody's got one. Well, what I don't understand MGM about that is that Plus. it's just Prime Video, so why don't they just fucking... Yeah. Make it one thing already. Because they want you to pay four dollars extra a month to that's get true. the four videos that are or, on this. Or, or, that's true. Hopefully, that's just true. you know, subscribe for the weekend, cancel, and just well, you know. that's I forgot that's to cancel my thing. Shutter subscription, oh. guys. Oh, that makes Shit. sense. They, they got my There's six bucks. Twenty nine ninety nine coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bet it's more than half the people uh, forget oh, that's, to uh, cancel their point. subscriptions. Guys, I just looked yeah. at my statement today, and I'm still paying for Meat Geek somehow. <laughs> From I haven't used that in a year and some change, so I'm, <laughs> I'm just blowing yeah. away twenty bucks a it month for, nice. for nothing. Yeah. So if you do it through the Apple devices, um, it's nice because you just get your subscriptions list there, which is and you can I just know, cancel and right you can there. Just manage it's very nice, it, right? It's yeah. much better. I mean, Amazon has that too. Ah, fuck Amazon. There's no, I don't give a shit. You know, <laughs> I don't want to talk yeah, about whatever, Amazon. Whatever they come credit. up, it's fuck them. Took me a while to cancel uh, Audible, and they had I had to tell them I wanted to cancel like six times. Yeah, are I, you sure? sure? I mean, are what, sure? what if we did this? Yeah. What if we offered you this? What if but, we added on socks? What about that? Would you, <laughs> do you want more books? Yeah, would we you, only have you, books. <laughs> I mean, what else can we give you? Um, You're just making us feel really bad right now. We want you to know that. I mean, it's your decision, and we can't stop you. But we're feeling really bad about this. <laughs> I definitely thought that Jodie Foster's. I don't. I. I did not like her in the most recent thing she did, which was that HBO series. Oh, the True Detective. And agreed. Like I was kept comparing them between uh-huh. that, you know, this movie and then now, and I'm like, what happened? Like she doesn't even look like the same person, and she didn't even act like whatever she was acting like in this one was good. 
And like I've seen some of the other stuff. I'm like, well, where, where was, where's the old Jody? Um, <laughs> I mean, I thought she did a great job. Some of those eye, the eyes when she was scared in mm-hmm. the night vision. I mean, that was yeah. That's fucking. It got me. That got me. I was just. I had like, a, oh my god, she's f- fucking so scared. There's no way around mm-hmm. it. Uh, you know, the I think, shaking, yeah. like, oh man, everything about it. It's like, yeah, she can't see shit. She yeah. is terrified. She is terrified. And so like, good. it's such an odd, there's a, a bunch of this kind of stuff where it's just such an odd thing to see because it's like, you know, more than the character does. And you know that it's terrifying, but they don't. And that even in itself makes it more terrifying. <laughs> and you're like super creeped out by that. A bunch in this where they just. I don't know. They sort of show you something and you can infer the worst. <laughs> and that alone is creepy and scary. And there's just no comparison for how good they did some of it. I mean, I haven't seen it. Maybe The Shining would be one that, you know, sort of I would relate to this. Cause just like Nicholson's ability to have mm. those kind of crazy looks. Like just, just oh, man, yeah, I, but he's I don't I don't know if you guys agree, but he's less scary. He's like really entertaining, but a little comical. This is actually yeah. scary. Like she is yeah. terrified, and and, right. and I was terrified. Yeah. I know. And every time Buffalo Bill there, whatever was showing himself, I just you know it's amazing how like the folklore of it too can really go into just like when you rewatch it, like this guy's the scariest movie, or in, the, this guy is the scariest guy in movies. Mm-hmm. And like now, it's been talked about forever. In fact, people have been using it in. And other there's so things. many more movies, right? And so, and like, most, they're pretty good too, like, but they're not as good as like this one. This little thing became such a you know unbelievable success story, and it's scary, and it remains scary. And I, when I rewatched it, I was scared. So I uh, and you don't like horror movies. And that's I'm not the a thing horror, that this movie that's does why too. This is well, it's like everybody yes. has I mean, seen equal, it. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, you file this under thriller, I guess. Same as Seven, right? Because I mean. They showed in Halloween. That's the God. only thing, because I agree. It's kind of like a procedural yeah, crime yeah. thriller it's, it's or something like that. that. But true. the scenes where it shows you in the, yeah, that, the basement. That's total horror film that scene. That stuff right? is yeah, horror yeah, movie yeah, stuff. Dude. The last sequence with the night vision, that's horror movie stuff. The rest of it is more it a, a thriller kind of, but yeah. And what great yeah. ideas. Yeah. What great ideas. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus Christ. And that line about having the friend over for dinner. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. So that's like, good. That's got to be on like the best yeah. ending When the writer ever. wrote that, be. they must have been like, this is money. Like, I have never <laughs> written anything so perfect yeah. as this line. Have you, have you guys I mean, unreal. Have you guys read the book? No. It's, no. I have watched literally all of the media based oh, around okay. the oh, Hannibal. You've done everything sure you but have. read. Yeah, yeah, everything but the reading. Yeah, I don't like the reading. It's, it's, it hurts Aww, my brain. Yeah. I like watching the things yeah. and the screen LL. goes by. That's nice. Enter TikTok. I can talk. I can talk in book corner. The book is, is <laughs> the book very, sets this up all very up very well. Like like it, it's not like this is the, based on the yeah, second book in right, the right, series. Red right? Dragon, and then which which has been made into two movies. One by Michael Mann. Mm-hmm. I forget who made the other one. Um. It was yeah, yeah, Red Dragon. There was two Red Dragon movies. Which one was the one with uh, uh, Voldemort? One, I think in there. I think one was called Actual Red Dragon was the movie title. The other one, the one that was by Bill Mackin, was Manhunter. Manhunter. Yes, right. Okay. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it. And didn't Ridley Scott do? No, Ridley Scott did. Man, Hannibal. Someone did Hannibal. That's right. And and and, and the relationship was. It, it's weird <laughs> what happens in the next book. Really weird. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the book, the book does it just is is a very easy read in a good way. It's just very straightforward, but very much captures exactly what you see in in the film too. Like it's these characters are really drawn very much like what you see in the film. Uh, and and again, it almost seems it's so there's so much uh, yeah. history and what they show that it almost seems like a true story, the way they put yeah. it together. Right? It seems like some of this stuff might have happened, or it's based on true events, and it's not. You know, they, you know, they researched, you probably have information on this, researched actual serial killers mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But like, none of this stuff is even remotely sure. true, but it seems that way. Cause like, there's so much backstory right. and they have like, they talk about the history of these guys and how they met and, and the, the, the movie so does a great job. It feels of like that, it built out well. I think it, compared to the book, the movie is far more streamlined, but it still gives you, it, 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 I mean, they, they did a great job of crafting keeping you, giving you a lot of detail on the main plots. And the book has a lot of subplots that are just dropped. They're just, again, fair because they, it would have been a much longer movie. Um, Got to keep it right? tight. Is that but they, but, but they still by. feel yeah. like it there's did. a It a really did, story. Denny, didn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it picks up yeah. too. Like there is, I remember there was a scene 
where it was right when like he um, Lecter figures out, or actually the the guy who owns the insane asylum tells Lecter that the deal that the FBI was giving him was mm-hmm. a fake deal, and then they start moving Lecter right. around and shit, and everyone just starts moving after that point. I'm like, it was already yeah, going pretty fast. Sure. It seems at least, but I mean, there's saying that there's this, like a ten minute long scene where they're just sitting in a jail yep. talking to each other. Well, but it's any seems point where yeah, where, where it's Starling fast. and Hannibal, it, it's. It moves fast, but it, it also just seems like moment. It's funny because I, I forget what the length is about how much screen time Anthony Hopkins has. It's very small. 21%. Right? It's the lowest of all time for a right. lead actor. But still, but still it doesn't matter acting. because it's just so, it, it feels heavy when he's there that it doesn't feel like he's not there much. Um, because it's just, I don't know, it, it's just such a huge presence when he's there. It's ridiculous. Well, and everything that involves what she does in any capacity yeah, right. is because of him. Right, so right. it's like he's extended yeah. even though he's not on screen sure. and it's man, yeah. he's just a looming being in this movie. Yeah. It's just, ridiculous. I hope you got like good, good stories about how they, if to what extent they picked him, like if they knew right away, this guy was the guy to do it or if it just sort of happened out. Yeah, That's a great question. No, they had, um, what was his name? They had somebody else as they wrote the script in mind, uh, Fuck, who was it? Who was the guy in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird? Gregory the guy who was like the next door neighbor. Oh, no, no. no, the next door neighbor Wait. that uh, had like disabilities and he was in it for a very oh. short period of time. Oh. I'll come, I'll, I'll figure yeah. it out. Give me a minute. But no, he wasn't. Um, but as soon as he got the script, he f- initially thought it was a children's movie because it was because of the title, me. Silence of the Lambs. Um, but then he read it and he loved it and immediately signed on. So. I guess he was pick number okay. two. So we have Gregory I mean, Peck. We have okay. John Magna as Dill Harris. Uh, Tom Robinson was Robert, Robert Duvall. Duvall. Robert Duvall. That's who it is. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And he actually, he was so into it uh, that, oh, sorry. And so Robert Duvall was supposed to be that character. Um, but, and also Gene Hackman was set to direct uh, and star in it. No way, um, wait, star, meaning he was going to be Hannibal or he was going to be Starling? I, no, not They're Hannibal, make, but not, not Oh, he's going to be the FBI uh, director. Not either, but maybe him, yeah. A bit fit. Probably that. Yeah, I've been odd if like, oh, we're going to make this a man. Because it, it's another thing. It's a huge theme in the book, and it comes across in the movie well, but just how she's treated as a woman, how that changes the way people are treating her as as like a young woman, how that just is it's constant theme for her. In the book, it's like even more so. But it's another like, uh, just a kind of an amazing part of the film. It just it's not putting it in your face so much, I guess. But it's just a constant theme for her because she's a young woman. This is how people are acting around her all the time, and she's kind of yeah, small. Right, there's a factor right, there too. Right. So it's it just there's like the first yeah. shot of the, when she gets into the elevator when she's like right, all right, sweaty. Right. She's like by yeah, far yeah, yeah, the yeah. smallest they're, person. They're making it clear, and it, it's another like it'd been ridiculous if they were like done a oh we need to be guy be this guy film. But anyway, no, but it's mm-hmm. perfect because it's another hurdle that this character has to overcome right. outside of it's like a separate thing that's not even, you know, it almost dictates who she is. Right. Like, this is what she does right. is overcome. Exactly. And, you know, and that every, sets that up perfectly. Right. And in the book, it's over and over again. Just about every interaction she has, that's a factor that because she's a young woman or and in, in, in working with law enforcement, working with criminals, it's it's like front and center everywhere she goes. And and it, the movie does a, a great job of portraying that too, without like being like too much in your face about it. Mm. Agreed. Yeah, and the actually the FBI um, lent them Quantico. Mm. All that stuff in Quantico was really there, and they had the behavioral science people help them out, like help them polish up the script, film in the location, and they actually like approved the script because they looked at it as a uh, recruiting mm-hmm. tool for um, female FBI agents because they oh, were having a hard time oh, wow. recruiting them. Oh, that's back in the pretty 90s, cool. So. They were yeah. all pro. So yes, yeah, come down it, to FBI. You might run into a serial yeah, killer that's right. too. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, you she know. comes across as like a badass oh, hero. She's, she's, she does. She does come she across does really like, well. She in this does movie. like both vulnerable and fierce at the same time. Like amazing. It, it's like yeah, she's yeah. scared, but she's not. Not she's not, strong not like enough some, to yeah, yeah, yeah get through it's, it. That's it's amazing how she does it. She's not just like dumb action hero. Like I can right. do anything. Just plow or, or your way scared. through it. She's like, yeah, holy scared, shit, this is scary, but I like can do female it. Female character, you know, it, it's it's none of the, yeah. it's neither mm. of those things. Yeah, I love all the small touches of like when she tries to pull her gun out when she finally realizes it's Buffalo Bill. It's not no, fast. no, she fumbles. It's not like it. John Wayne. She she yeah. fumbles, and when she's like busting through 
the you know all the rooms down. It just seems like you can see the fear right. in her movement. She's she's, yeah. she's not an old hand. Is, she's not incredible. an old hand at this. She, she's trained and she's good, but she's and she's not great at training because like she got killed yeah, in the training yeah, yeah, they showed yeah. you. You know she's not the best student. Yeah. She tries the hardest because she's out there running by herself. You know she's like right. the most determined mm-hmm. out of everyone, but she's not the most naturally skilled. Yeah, but that right. doesn't yeah matter. I mean, you could say so much about just the way this movie's put together. The first scene is her running towards something and like struggling Mm -hmm. and it's miserable out. And then the last shot is just like Hannibal Lecter casually walking like away from the camera. Mm -hmm. Like she's running towards Mm -hmm. something and he's walking away. He's like dressed in a a nice sun outfit. He's really slow and calm. And yeah, just like the juxtaposition between the two characters there. Yeah, and he's, and he's, he's in like a, a vacation yeah, spot, it nice, I guess. Or, or I don't know, the, I guess the doctor's just like trying to hide out in in some faraway place. But He's just on vacation. He's on vacation, he's got right? Money, yeah, right? I don't know. Um, or maybe, do you think he's trying to hide from him because he knows Lockhart so is out? Get, I only got through 70% of the I think he was book, trying but, to hide yeah. from him because he knew he That's was That's what I was kind of thinking out. was yeah. it wasn't like a resort, but he's actually like in Africa somewhere trying to get rid of, you know, trying to like lay low. Yeah. Didn't work. Yeah. Should have had more bodyguards there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that just, like, there's so much dread and unease in this movie is, is I guess, really what I was trying to label it as, right? right. Like, and, and, like, you see it not only in the characters, but you, you yourself experience it, and it's just uh, well-rounded. It's a well-rounded oh, story. Yeah, yeah. but say. again, it, it does, even it could have all been crap, and the, the, the performances are still so, well, are still so amazing, it, it's still, I mean, it'd still be up there. What are you trying to say? I, I'm, yeah, just, trying to, I'm just trying to say all, all this other stuff works really well. <laughs> if everything was different, it would if be a lot different. No, if everything yeah. was different, but you right. still had these characters, it still is amazing. I, everything else yeah, is really good the way it is. I'm just saying. If it was crap. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's it's just the the characters alone are, are amazing. And and then the story around them yeah. that works so well. But 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 for the qualities that they, they're able to show, and part of that is is the dialogue in the script, but just part of it is these actors, what they do. Like like how Jodie Foster shows like what we talked about this strength of other. It's all kind of underplayed. Yeah. Like she doesn't usually when you have you know best actor scenes or like they awards, you have time. a couple of scenes they where they do the whole time, right. Denny. Yeah, they go from like a right, hundred right, right. or they, they yeah. have like a hundred percent. Even Buffalo is guilty of that, right? But she doesn't have a right, blow right. up scene in this. She's just kind of like steady. Uh, there's no like moment where it's like this will be the real you play right. at awards night, you know. And neither does. Well, well, Anthony Hopkins, every single second of him talking is kind it, of that it, thing, but, but he's like, it's not, he's you know, not Al Pacino no either. You know, it's not like it should have yeah. been, you know, um, I mean, he, he does his yelling, but that just seems like he's just got all this rage in him that comes out at times. It doesn't feel like he's being dramatic. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing how he can be terrifying, but not unlikable. I don't know if that's the right word to say. He's, he's like fascinating. He's interesting. I guess I think it's right. the right word. Yeah, yeah. Pulling Makes that off, to me. pulling that off is what is is really amazing. Like how intense and terrifying, and yet somehow charismatic at the same time. And that that is that is it's ridiculous. Just so fun to right? watch. Yeah, just every one of his mannerisms and the way he chooses to speak and the lines that he chooses mm-hmm. to say. A lot of it improved. Is oh just, really? It yeah yeah. He improved a lot. I, I mean, some uh, of that stuff he said makes the yeah. movie. But but yeah. And the yeah. see the shot where he like makes fun of uh, Clarice's um, accent is she didn't know he was going to uh, say that and she thought he was making fun of her acting accent <laughs> like in reality oh, nice. wow. and her look of shame was real and they kept oh that God. whole thing in the movie. Wow. And she was afraid of him. Well, in reality, how could you not be? filming it? Yeah. Well, was he method? Was he? Was they didn't he have any rehearsals. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, well, they didn't have any rehearsals, and they just did the way the directing went is that they just rolled camera. Oh. And they, like, they just rolled, and they would do a take, and the director would go up while they were rolling, whisper direct- direction into the actor's ears, and just call action. Oh, Walk off set, wow. call action, and just do it wow. again. So there wasn't like resetting up, redoing all this other stuff. He would just roll. Hmm. So no, they didn't have like any off, uh, you know. How, how, offset how, uh, time together how many or days was it. the shot? How many, how many days did they? Uh, they didn't talk about that. Don't know. But uh, the first wondering. scene they filmed together was yeah. that first scene they they met each other in the the jail. So that was like the first day they hadn't met each other before. They hadn't rehearsed together. They didn't know what each other were like. They didn't know what they would be doing. 
And Jodie Foster was on set the first day, and that's how Anthony Hopkins was acting, and she was scared. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's a hell of a way to set them all up so that they don't like. Yeah. Because I mean, you're right. If 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 you think about real life, they're not going to be friends. Mm -hmm. One's a killer, so it's like, I, it's pretty. It's just smart when I hear about those things, and I'm like, I would never have thought to try it that way, you know. I don't think I don't think it was a thought that they intentionally did. It was just like, this guy is not a big movie director. This guy did like, uh, he did stop making sense. He directed mm -hmm. that concert film, um, and then he this was selected because he was like a really nice guy, basically, and the the producers wanted a nice guy to direct this horror movie because they thought it would like instill kind of a character driven wholesomeness. Oh, wow. Underneath, yeah. you know, they didn't want it to be like a, a dark, no, dark movie. They wanted that's something, like that's a, a, a it, nice something that, that it. comes across in the book too. I, again, th there's, there's a humanity to the characters in the book as well. That that's, that's emphasized. I mean, there's the way Starling street, cause a woman, she's a woman or whatever and people being callous, but, but the main characters for sure in the book, all have this sort of humanity to them. Um, Lecter doesn't, he's a whole different thing, but all the other people, you know, that are not the bad guy sort of show a lot of like emotion or sympathy or depth. Uh, I like that line too, where she's like, why don't you turn your, uh, you know, oh, yeah. really nice analytic brain right, right. on yourself? Or is that, yeah. you know, or is that not is that too you scary for you? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So principle. Yeah. Oh, this sorry, movie. Go ahead, well, yeah, I was going to, I was just going to say, uh, <laughs> that's no, gotta stay in. Right, that's right at TC. In. Right at right at no. uh, Look at us professionals yeah. over here. We don't have a little button that says my yeah. turn. My turn yeah, to I talk. Think they do. It's called the hand. I do this with my kids. Then we both have to yell jinx and count to ten. And then anyway. You know. Okay. <laughs> do we want a talking you, you bag? Ahead, what do Danny, we need here? Go ahead. <laughs> talking stick. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything that important. I was just gonna say something uh well, now yeah, you I forgot. Oh, <laughs> I killed it. What have I done? <laughs> how dare you, John? <laughs> if we hadn't have talked about how much we fucked it up afterwards, I probably would have remembered what I was talking about. about the niceness, the gold. humanity, and the characters <laughs> trying to get you back there. Oh. <laughs> it's it's gone, it's gone forever. Dude. Oh, oh TC yes, he was hey, back there. <laughs> what, the <laughs> what do you What do you got to say? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, well, so uh, let me. Uh, well, fuck off. Uh, what What is this again? <laughs> is that Timmy? <laughs> I think it might be Timmy. It's a long welcome, time Timmy. since we heard from Timmy last. Ooh, and then it lowers your hand. I <laughs> like that. Where is that button? Just do reactions. I got nothing. Reactions, and yep. then raise hand. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, you what, in the what back were you going to say, John? Oh, I, got, I, I got nothing. Just, skimming through Wikipedia. Bed. So uh, principal photography began November 15th in 89 and wrapped March 1st, 90. So it was a long shoot. That is a long shoot. That's mm -hmm. five months? Ah, the 80s. Dang. I mean, I don't know if it was a continuous shoot, but they maybe they were going to different locations. It took a while. I don't know. But um, yeah. Have you guys seen Stop Making oh, yeah. Sense? Yeah, Talking it's Heads it's great. concert thing? They, no. They're just releasing a uh, collector's edition. A24 owns it now, and they are releasing a uh, 4K re-release, and there's two extra songs. Oh, wow. They're nice. going to publish with it, too. But yeah, this Jonathan Demi guy, he directed that. Best concert film ever. Best horror movie ever. What a freaking Did he do anything else? This guy can do. Oh, yeah, he's, he's done a lot. Um, Yes, but well, I wouldn't say a lot, would I you? Mean, He's been he's been active. He, he did Philadelphia the, right. the year he after got, this. He, he actually did that because... This movie had protests against it <clears throat> when it came out because the uh, you know gay people and trans people had big issues with the fact that it portrayed you know a gay person or a trans person, right, whatever right. you interpret Bill's character to being as being a villain. And the, they were pissed off. A lot of people were pissed off because uh, there weren't a lot of uh, gay and trans people represented right, right. in movies. And when so they, they finally it. get a big movie that does well, it, it's a bad guy. So I mean, the book the book says were, it. Like, people were pissed about far that. more clearly. The movie has the line in it where Hannibal is saying, "This is not. He's not a transvestite. He wants to be." And yeah. and the book goes into far more detail about that. About how it's, um, you know. People don't watch movies and listen to the, the words, know, John. They I just know, wait until the guy tucks his dick right, behind his go, legs yeah, and does exactly. a little dance. That's, that's, that's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah. fuck me. I'd fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck me so hard. Uh, I love that line. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the weirdest, creepiest scenes ever, where it's like painting, it cuts from the woman in the well to like him putting lipstick on with that weird 80s song in the background. And someone's scalp. So disturbing. The scalp. 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen this movie a bunch, but it's always on TV. It always was on TV when I was like younger during Halloween. There's a lot in this movie that was cut from that, obviously. Okay. Which was kind of I don't think surprising. I remembered, to be honest. They don't. So like the the, the scene where uh, Miggs throws a handful of jizz in her face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't in the TV version. Uh, the scene where they show the uh, the actual skin suit and they show it to you like what he's making. Oh, true. That's what not what the did TV they do version, in the TV yeah. version to show? I guess you just assume Hannibal got really mad for some reason. Because it's a pivotal point for where, because of that happening, again, both in the book and the movie, that's when Hannibal decides to offer I think it was because he said he smelled her. Oh. I think that's what... Oh, okay. That was enough, I think. Well, but but he's got to do something. But he says that as she's coming there, not as she's going. He had to do something as she's going that that, um, that sort of... Um, well, they still had to have the line. I think they just cut out the shot of him throwing. Oh, okay, okay. Because so they had the he, line. Uh, he gives like right. a big plot clue right. to right. her as right. she's like it's running. It's really out important, then. like that he does something so obscene that Hannibal decides to help her. Like that. That that's sort of the yeah. point where he. I think they yeah. just cut yeah. it out he and just, just stitched yeah. it together and like yeah, figure it out, right. guys. Something real bad happened. <laughs> yeah. We're think television. About it in your you head. can't show two and two together. That's right. Yeah. Uh I got trivia and stuff. What else you guys got? How much? So, so I got let me some talk. questions. So, so do you, you guys, guys want some questions? You guys think of this. <laughs> so let, let me talk. talk. I want to say one wait, thing wait, wait, about wait, wait. the film. Wait, 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 wait. So, so and again, okay. sleep deprived, cranky <laughs> old man. But man, wait, 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 let me talk. Can I talk? I'm just kidding, John. You don't have to start a <laughs> podcast sentence by saying "let me talk." Well, we are let me talk. Wait, let me talk. Let me talk. talk. How come you're not talking? Hey, what are you talking? What I meant to say? What I was trying to communicate. If you'd let me talk, twenty percent in again. Please let me talk. No, 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 no. no I want to no. talk. Can I talk a little? <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> he looks view listeners at home. He looks he distressed. He's right now. distressed. Yes, he's like Jody, not quite all the way oh, down right, in the yeah. basement yet, but close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lights are still on. Just found the bathtub corpse, but the lights are still on. <laughs> so yeah, still, that, yeah, that, still things feeling, are looking up. Feeling like I can get my way around here. I'll be all right. Oh God! All right, John, go for did it. Did you forget what you were going to say? I bet you no, did at this point. But this is something. So, so I really did feel like the score was like it just seems so melodramatic. It's be and shit on the score. After school, Timmy's just starting to do drugs, kind of way. I don't know. It felt very melodramatic. Ah. Yeah, Timmy, that's how you got your start when you're 12. I <laughs> yeah, thought, right? That's yeah. right. So, Timmy that's didn't right. start doing drugs. Timmy is oh, always really? doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. but he was perfect for the role for as young as he was. Time. Timmy, you know, he South Shores, that and you though. could do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it really, it really was was distracting to me. I think, yes, really, and, I and really like the score. That much. I didn't like it. I just really, I, this guy's done a lot of. He's, you know, he's, done, he's not like someone. He's done a lot of professional scores. So the other thing that was that struck me about the film was how many, like, two. Are we shitting on it now? Is, is that my, what we're doing? This is my, these are my two shits. Okay. That's all I got. Two shits. Okay. Um, two shits. So the uh, the other thing is just how much how many shots there are. Of two thirds of the screen being a person's face, like not not just Hannibal. Hannibal, I get it that that works, but but a lot of the other car- Eric actors when they're just having like normal dialogue, you, you are There's totally in there. Do you want the reason? Tell me in a minute. But man, after if I started mm-hmm. seeing, I started to feel kind of like I was back. I was like, man, I'm in their personal space here, and we're just talking about coffee or something. I just I don't. Yeah, and so it, you can tell me the reason there, but yeah, what what's the reason? So that feeling is intentional because that's how everyone. In her, so you're supposed to feel sympathetic to Clarice because all the men in her life are basically hitting on her, right? They all find her attractive. Even Hannibal finds her attractive. He's drawing her. He touches her hand like he yeah. finds her attractive. All the dudes do. She's constantly being hit on. So, And the movie is also intentionally trying to make you, you know, she's the main character. It wants you to feel from her perspective, not just emotionally, but in the point of view kind of way. A lot of those shots where they're showing a face, the non Clarice character is looking directly yep. into the camera and she is looking off to the side. And be- the way they, the intent there is like, she's uh. disconnected from the point of view, right? You're never looking at from other people's point of view. You're just looking from her point okay. of view because only her perspective. So has other people they're, What they're trying to do is you. like, you're, you're seeing uh. things through her eyes kind of. Right. Yes, I, I get it. It just, and people are close to her uncomfortably close. Yeah. That's intentional. And I guess so. yeah, Sometimes so, I would see that, I, I or think sometimes, it works pretty good. Be, sometimes it's a little ob- over obvious, like the way that the camera just sort of clumsily zooms in when when Hannibal has the the pen part, 
you know, like dun dun dun, and the score is like, Rrr! you know, it's it's like he's got a pen part in his hand. Right. How uh, dare you? That, that whole was okay. scene was the best yeah. part of the goddamn movie it's when a, he escapes out of that prison cell. I'll tell you, so you, know? I mean, there so I'll tell you it's build. really good. But I'm just picking apart these. Pieces. And the music when he pulls the face off. Are you going to oh, criticize dude, the score? That there? was yeah. fucking insane, oh. wasn't it? That I, that is one of the best oh horror movie God. scenes. And the idea of like, usually when you watch something, you can go back and be like, why didn't they do it this way? You know, like, why didn't they check the body? But it's like, before this movie came out, no one would have imagined to put another person's face on top right. of your face. Right. That was never done Except before. Except for face like off. You, you, <laughs> that was after this. They ripped off Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nicholas Cage was like, I like that movie Silence of the Lambs. I'm going to do, do that with John Travolta. I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> John, agree with me. The score when he pulls yeah, the face that, off that is was, awesome. That was fine. Come on, I mean, give it to you, me. You don't even—I don't even notice the fine. score. The score okay. is like fitting good. it well enough that I'm not even aware of it at that point because you're like, ah, you know, it's it's again very good. I get a really good bit of misdirection that isn't in the book too because it doesn't need to be. But but in the film where they they have the guy alive, the door no, opening. They, they have the guy that he the the one of the two officers. Um, the one guy is still alive. They make it very clear that that guy's still alive before he goes to do his work on him. So it, it gives you even more misdirection to think that that officer isn't him. You don't know that right away, right? I mean, you, once you see the film, of course you know. But but this idea, of this again, this misdirection for the audience where they're, they're showing that he's alive so that you have this, you know, it's pretty easy for you to see that he's still alive and that that's not Hannibal, right? Mm. Is that the case? Wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I don't know. They show that, I would think he would kill both of them and escape. Well, I don't know. I just think that, yeah. But but you didn't know when when you first watch sure. it, you, know, you, you don't think, oh, that's Hannibal, right? Right. But I also didn't. I didn't think that that person being alive reinforced the fact no, that no, Hannibal it, it was. Reinforced, what it reinforces alive? is that he's alive. So you're less likely if if they were both there. Like, I would expect them both yeah. to be dead. I wouldn't change my thought. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really understand I the point. point. I point is trying to make it. It's probably well, no, my make fault, it very but... clear that the one guy's dead and the other guy is alive, so that you think that Hannibal left him alive. I think, and so. Well, why would Hannibal do that? Hannibal likes killing right. people. It's right, his favorite. <laughs> likes eating people. Some actually, might number say one. it's killing people. Number two it gets him right. going in the morning. Yeah, so. maybe other, <laughs> yeah. Although he might not. Maybe he may, likes. You no, know, some of his victims he he lets suffer and let, let uh, lets them stay alive. He mangles but he didn't them have time. Them. He only had time to strap that guy up to the top of the cage and put the uh, freaking flag so, all the way that across. That was one of my only gripes. Like it, it, no it looked so cool. It makes it no so sense. Cool. How, how would he have been able to do that? And on top of it, why do that? And also, why do they? O- they had fifty thousand cops on level one. They only put two of the cops up in the freaking room and, where Hannibal is. And, and, and how, they don't have any cameras. How up there? many cops do you know that would just sit and watch the needle move <laughs> instead of oh, doing that's something? Weird. Like, where's the stairs? <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked so well it though. Stopped at three. It did. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look, it's moving again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's going Point your gun down. At it, guys. Everyone's it's an like, elevator. Oh my god! I couldn't believe it. Uh, this was that was like uh, one of those scenes. I'm like. This probably could have been done without, but I guess it explains that yeah, things have that there's two things involved: one, the elevator, and the other place. And so, the first, do you remember the first time to... you watched this? I thought Hannibal was on top oh, yeah, of the elevator. Oh, see, yeah, definitely. I don't remember what I thought because yeah. I knew that when I saw it laying there, I'm like, "There he is." So it must have been in my mind that I remembered he was the one dead at first, quote unquote, not dead, but laying there. And I love how this movie, like, that's one of the scenes that does it. There are kind of um, the climax of certain scenes, like that one. Once you, it kind of reveals what it is. When people start freaking out, it doesn't explain it to you, like, really quickly. It just shows people reacting to something you don't know yet. Like, the fact that it it's not Hannibal. You just see people, like, freaking out, and you're kind of just like, wait, wh- what's going on? What did they see? What are they realizing here? And then they finally show you the the shot of, like, Hannibal pulling the face off. Where like all the cops already know what we don't know yet, right? That Hannibal escapes, mm-hmm. but like just right. that type of the editing they do there, where they start showing like all of the characters freaking out, and you you know we don't know why yet. That stuff is pretty pretty great. Yeah, like it when things to, are happening um, in parallel, and like yeah. yeah, and that happens with them going to the house too when they're you know the FBI is going to one oh, house and great, Clarice is going to great. another house. Yes, yeah, and it kind of. You know, once they they raid the house and they realize it's the wrong one, then they're like, 
shit. And it's amazing. And it cuts to Clarice. It's amazing how you can cut that together and not really have a clue. Two different places, yep. you know, and it they edited perfectly. it uh, to be one scene after the other, like in the book, because they were doing that for most scenes. But when they were like uh, screening it for themselves, um, the director Jonathan was just like, "We need to cut that in parallel. We need yeah. to take those two scenes and just overlap them." And the thing that we need to do is make sure that when the door opens, that point needs to be perfectly edited because we need that's like the you know that's where the trick is. Right, right. That makes sense. I do have some questions though. Go about the it. logic of some of this stuff. We already talked about the two guys upstairs and the lack of cameras and all that stuff is kind of stupid, but leads to one of the best scenes. Um, I did. There's actually one shot during when everyone is realizing what's happening when Hannibal escapes. Her uh, FBI partner who like helps yeah, her study right, and yeah. stuff like that, there's a shot of her running down the corridor. Yeah. And I don't know what that shot is supposed to be. Is she running to like She's call running to tell the Clarice? news. Yeah. To who? She's telling Clarice the news of what happened with Hannibal because he escaped. So how did she figure out Hannibal escaped? She must have been at the place when someone else was talking. I mean, that they, I assumed that it was just because she's in the FBI um, vicinity and someone said something. I just something. felt a little confused because <laughs> like they showed like all the she wasn't in that scene up until that shot of her running down the corridor. So right? that whole scene we, was like I assumed some other cops. that since she is in the FBI you know, preparing to be in the FBI, that all they were trying to do is say the FBI knows. So she's running to tell because she's part of the FBI. That's kind of what I, my connection was. It's kind of it's it's also kind of weird. This is older movie too, and she has a cell phone, right? She does. Clarice has a cell phone, doesn't she? No, no she's not. pre cell I don't phones. Think so. the, yeah, cell phones aren't in this film. Ninety one. They're yeah. not in this phone. God. It t- so guys, it did occur to me though, like why don't she they have was cell running phones? where? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, where was she running? How was she going to find Clarice? Clarice, because Clarice was in her dorm. Was no, she wasn't. She was out uh, talking to people. No, she wasn't. Right? They go back and she's in her robe and they talk and they do some more. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, you're right. right. Well, All right, you fix that one. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, another one is how did the FBI? So like they have the whole team of FBI go to the wrong house. First of all, they go to that house because they checked. Um, like uh, body surgery, um, right. sex chain surgery records and cross-checked it with people who buy and breed moths, this specific moth. And they hit on somebody in this town and they go to the house and it's it's like the wrong yep. house. So is it just a coincidence that this person is transgender uh, post-sex surgery and collects the That's death? So. Well, heads, no, the, the, the difference is that the other guy's not post. So they made an assumption and they got somebody that's different. One's post, the other one's pre because he had, but they right. both like the death head moth. Right. So the moth was okay. the thing, and the transgender part of it from the so other just guy kind of was a irrelevant, really, because the guy yeah. was post. Whereas and again, the I think the whole not. point, and I don't even know, I don't know how this played out in the book. The whole point again is another misdirection thing to set you up that she's lost. She hasn't, you know, she she's no longer contributing to the case much, and and now it's now we're about to see the big scene with the FBI playing it out, and and then so that's right. it. so. So what you're saying now is another one. So we're going to chalk up the one I just said to a coincidence. But when the FBI goes to the the wrong house and there's nobody there, the lead FBI guy looks kind of into the camera and says, Clarice, like, shit, Clarice is in trouble or whatever. But all he told, all she told him is that she was going to, like, ask around town and look around where she was. So he didn't actually know she was going to, like, bump in. Yeah, like, he didn't know that, right? No, but he so probably like, why was he instantly because it's just, there's not there's only one other guy in the world, and so they knew that there was another connection to where she was. So he made a connection in his head that mm, she's they would in have the gone area where that guy, guy was. So you're saying there's a list of two would, people? No, I think you're saying there was the town, the relation of the town to the victim. So they knew that there was an area from the old town, right? Where, but it's a whole town. She's not going to like. He could just be like, "Oh, I should call Clarice because she might." Eventually, I think after he scanning just assumed the town, that now there is a there is a chance. Before there was no chance that she was going to run into this guy. Now uh, there is a chance that she will run into this guy because they don't have anybody. Fair. So I thought I kind of like squared it away as that. That's fair. <laughs> it just seems it unlikely. It, it may, it, she's going to bump into him. Been, it's like, just more to prime because she like, finds the address I through know. talking to somebody at a bar right. too right it's not like she shared That's the address true. with anyone it, she it, was just it's really walking just around talking with people oh that uh, the oh shit moment that they also want the audience to have like they, they, it, it's just 
I'm not saying it doesn't work, John. I'm just trying to figure I it think, out. I think John's sense. saying don't try to figure it out because there probably isn't much to figure what? out there. You can't tell no, me not to no, try no, to no, figure it's it right. out. I'm just Come saying on. It, 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 sir, it, <laughs> this is yeah, how yeah, I feel the, all, the, the uh, this third is quarter of the podcast every time. It serves, yeah, it serves a dramatic purpose regardless. It goes review, right. review. Questions right. from Denny. Right. Trivia. Yeah. That's that's the format. Okay. I talk yeah, about yeah. book corner that doesn't right. happen, and then we move on. That's how life goes. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy you got a book corner I this do, week, John. I don't, yeah. Even though you're only sleeping three hours a night, I mean, seems like you're not uh, using your I time know. wisely. Don't 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 be mean. <laughs> He's mean. Wait, you can't help it. That's just who he is. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't have a line between mean and funny. Den- you know, Denny's I think not going to have. I think it's funny. Denny's not going to have too much longer before he's the grumpy. Which old is man also too. known as no. not funny, <laughs> just mean. Yes, I know. It's, it, was, <laughs> it depends it's a on who tactic, you ask, really. but sure. <laughs> John would much rather. I'm in the funny everyone's category. Just nice to him when we do the podcast yeah. the yeah. entire time. <laughs> yeah. Let me talk, <laughs> please. Let me talk. <laughs> Can I talk now? I Somebody, talk. come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought some of the anagram stuff was a little contrived. Mm. Mm. I thought that yourself moving thing, she's, you know, Clarice was like, I thought him saying yourself or whatever that thing was, was not in character for him, even though she just met him. And she was like, he said it weird. Therefore, it's a there must be a storage facility named the thing that he said. And there was. That's weird. And then there's I don't like know, the do police thing. typically check storage facilities. Probably. Nowadays, or even that, because this movie. Yeah, I don't know. And I guarantee, when someone's like, when they, when a cannibal escapes the prison cell, they probably kind of pull at everyone's face that's dead on the ground to make sure he's that's not right. under I there. I mean, you know? I would pretty now, sure because, of course, but yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta yeah, make yeah. sure. Yeah. Now that we know, hey, hold on, sure. hold on. Is that his face? <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> he's screaming. Yeah. Stop pulling no, up. No, I gotta no, make dude, sure. Why are you movies? pulling it? <laughs> <laughs> it seems a little loose to me. Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> tickle him. <laughs> tickle him. Yeah, shoot him in the leg. <laughs> See if his face moves. <laughs> we tickle him first, or we shoot him yeah. first. Then we we'll take him, him to the hospital. The same time. We'll get him the treatment he needs. But we have to we have to figure this stuff out first. Yeah. There's an order of operations <laughs> that um, you know, I require. <laughs> uh people are having a harder time getting away with shit uh, after this movie came out, that's for uh, sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also thought it was kind of weird that Buffalo Bill had a relationship with Hannibal Lecter. Like, they just happened to have this guy that was like a really smart guy. The, the only reason they sent Clarice to go talk to Hannibal was because he was a smart psychopath, right? right? And they wanted a profile. He was a, a psychiatrist, psycho profiler. Like, they could have used him to maybe figure out who this guy was. But it just so happens that Hannibal, eight years before, knew Buffalo right, Bill and killed Buffalo Bill's, like, lover or whatever, uh, and kept his head. I mean, that's all pretty damn coincidental, too, isn't it? But you can say yeah. that he ran in those circles. Yeah. He tried He tried to find one, those Eddie. kinds of people. The, the murdering yeah, circles. You know, the, I don't know what you yeah. had back in the 90s. They have a Slack channel, oh, yeah, I think. Back, what, the what Slack channel, I, back in the 90s. I, I, I think I it was the Yellow Pages. Craigslist. Craigslist. Yellow pages. Craigslist cannibals. <laughs> they put an ad in the Yellow Pages, yeah, and right. they would, you know. Oh, the personalized ads or whatever. You had to use code, maybe. Right. I don't know. Uh, other other questions. Um, yeah, I noticed just the way this movie is put together a lot of the time. There's just some really nice themes, like the the shot where the woman who gets kidnapped and put into the well, when she's going home, her cat is like above her and in the window, and it kind of shows like her, she's like below, and the animal is on like a ledge up and to the left and they show that like with the dog when she's in the well oh. later on that's like a nice little symmetry uh, thing you know little yeah oh, you know i don't know what it's called but people who do that they're it's supposed it. to be good you Dude, know remember we had the yeah. cat there okay now we're gonna have the dog there wow yeah it's great it is good. that's good stuff and then there's um the pov shots like they introduce that really smoothly there's the funeral where they kind of introduce right. the pov shot subtly and they use it a lot and I mean, if you waited to use a POV shot until that last camera thing, it would not work as smoothly as it does. But you've already been given yeah. lots of POV shots right. throughout the movie. It's true. Right. And, and if just, you don't care about personal yeah. space, you know, right? You could go along with it. I was a little caught off guard by some of them, to be honest. I wasn't making the connection as to why they were doing it. So, you know. Yeah, I, I liked know, it. I'm just, I just, yeah, the TC. 
sort of, and maybe I'm just too stupid to see a film motivation. I'm just like, why am I so I close maybe, to your face? I, I didn't want to say it about myself, but <laughs> no, I think I that that's to my exactly dumbness. right. Like, you know? I, just, I feel, I yeah. don't want to, I don't. Yeah, like, oh, I just, I think I just missed it maybe, entirely. Yeah. That's all. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think this movie started a bunch of shit, too. I mean, like, there's so many Hannibal movies now, but there's, and TV shows. I don't oh, know yeah, if you guys yeah, have watched Mads the TV shows. No, I have shows really good, too. It, yeah, that's the first thing I ever saw Mads Mikkelsen uh, in was that was TV good. show. I've seen a couple episodes of it. It was pretty good, but not, he's like, a pro. That guy, yeah, mm-hmm. <clears throat> really creepy. Um, I even liked Red Dragon. I even liked Hannibal. So, so Hannibal's so supposed to be the worst one. Have you guys seen was, that? He makes no. Ray Liotta eat his own brain. How could you hate that? So, I mean, that's so pretty good Anthony stuff. Anthony Hopkins was still R. Hannibal R. in Hannibal, right? But 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 he Starling was, was he was free with Julianne Moore. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yep. I mean, th- and that one pretty weird. That uh, spoiler alert there, but but Clarice falls in love with Hannibal, right? So they are boyfriend girlfriend. I mean, we kind of saw that coming. They've set that up a little bit. She had a, really? she had a respect for him big time. Yeah, but he's still a killer. <laughs> I mean, you know, but he's he so is cool. Pretty cool. But man, anyway, oh, it's weird. Uh, do, were you guys pissed off when they didn't say the title of the movie in the movie? They're all talking about screaming lands, oh. but nobody says the title of the movie. And I was come like, on. "Come on, do you come hear on, them? say it." Do you hear? No, you want to? Do you I hear don't... the silence of the lambs? Hands of the lambs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. That's what uh, I'm asking for. No, I don't hear the silence of the lambs. Well, maybe one day you'll hear the silence of the lambs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's the name of the movie, guys. <laughs> right. The best That's part right. of the movie. Say it at least twice, and then you can be a blockbuster. You got to make sure you're watching <laughs> right, the right thing. <laughs> you remember what show that you want those people to remember what they watch, so they go. They'll tell their friends. <laughs> Everyone has they really do. bad oh, memories. Nobody pays attention. Um. Yeah. What else? Fake deal was a pretty bad idea. Got no problem with that though. Did Hannibal Hannibal did know his name? Why didn't he tell her? He's having fun because he's he's a manipulator. But he he knew that he wasn't going to see her again at that point. Yeah, but he still likes to manipulate from behind the scenes. It just seemed I just I was a little pissed at Hannibal uh. to be honest. The most pissed Man, I was he, at look, Hannibal is when she fucking yeah. spilled her guts. Why are you, why and he are didn't you give looking for like name. normality? Yeah, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. See, that's wait, what wait, Hannibal wait, does. Though, TC. Though, that's Denny, what he does. I expected him to be nice about it. What he did do though was even at that point. He had already helped her, though. He provided her the note in the case file, and he'd said, already given her the hint, everything you need to know is in there. So he'd already set her up. Explain to me how the note helped her find it. Well, because it led her, it, it, it's what led her to go back to the first killing, because Tell. that they, what yeah. you covet, you see every day, plus the way that the body dropping seemed too random. She was on the case and about to find him, you know, the movie then misdirects you, makes you think that it was somewhere else. But Hannibal's notes, the, the clues he gave her led her to that. And that was the final clue he wanted to give her. He didn't want to tell her outright. He wanted her... <laughs> See, you're saying you're saying very generally the clues led her there, but you're not telling me how, well, which the, the, clues, the, the desperate and how they led her there. The made her go look in yeah, the right. place where the first murder happened, which seems fucking obvious. Like, that's where you go, right? But But still, whatever. Right. That that's why she went back to that area. So that's why she was there. Where James Gum, James, 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 whatever the bad guy, James, James Gum. Gum. It's hard to say James. Um, in the book, they say it was um, a mistake on his birth certificate. He was supposed to be James. Oh, uh, he was doomed yeah. from the beginning. Oh, before I forget, too, in the book, Hannibal has six fingers on one hand. Mm. Nice. Um, but uh, so that that clue leads her there. Then again, her putting in the other clue is you see you covet what you see every day, meaning that first his first victim had to be somebody he knew, not a random person, somebody he had regular contact with. So that then sort of, again, helps her figure some stuff out where she's like going there, trying to learn more about the victim, trying to learn more about her associations, all and then following her friends and stuff, which leads her to Jane Gum's house. So. So see, and then that also explains why the other guy knows in his head that this is a bad situation because she's all by herself. Yeah, <clears throat> but he doesn't want to tell her. He wants her to solve the case. He also, right. arguably, if you want to, he wants 
he wants uh, Starling to have own it, to have the victory of it, to not him not just hand it to her. Right. I don't know. She almost got freaking plugged uh, in the yeah, back Hanny, of the head. Come on, wasn't you could have got her uh, killed, Hanny. You need to think about it. Was, you know, if it wasn't for the fact he had a loud her ass death gun. death would have been on your hands, toast. Hannibal. That's probably going to make you feel bad, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think it does. Oh, no, he, I wouldn't think. I think it, he knew I think she was good be, enough to spin around real fast and unload. I think very witty things to say in response. Oh, she's got all that FBI training. So. Yeah. Okay, that'll just, make like me feel better about Danny's, it. Thanks. This is why I Danny's ask the questions. Yeah. I Hannibal. like it when you guys That's answer it. me. Yeah. I just want the yeah. idea because some yeah. a lot of the time, John, you're just like, "Shut up, dude! It's a movie," and you're like, "I know it's a movie, but I want to feel good." Sometimes it is just well a movie, written. and that's the explanation. Yeah. That's okay too. Yeah, like Beekeeper. Yeah. There's no reason to pick it apart, but you know, have you seen uh, Beekeeper? Uh, it's good. It was good. I watched it. It was really good, but nice. Really not something movie. You're not watching it for the. Yeah, right. You're not watching it. to... Figure out yeah, all the things. It's a B movie. Ha! Anyway. Uh, I made a joke. <laughs> all right. Good job, John. It was a joke. Do those. Well, um, what else do I got here? And I still got trivia, okay, guys. Joe. Oh, no score at the end, John. You must have really appreciated that. Cut the score out, have her wander around well, in the why, dark. Why, Timmy? Why don't you go so to school good. anymore? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you get the violins, after the, school the swelling special. violins with the after all the school. Timmy just won't leave his room. He used to be good at football, and now he's good at nothing. <laughs> uh, all right. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Yeah. Yes. I think I uh, mingled some of it in there pretty good. But, mingled um, is right. They did a lot of research, a lot of research for this movie. The uh, The FBI, as I said, was pretty cooperative in the filming of it. And they also let um, Jodie Foster uh, kind of follow an FBI agent for a while. Um, and they had classes. For three days, they kind of put her through like a uh, um, FBI kind of fake, mm. here's what we do in the FBI type of thing to like get her ready, get her to like run Crawling and do under bod wire exercise like courses that. and stuff. Yeah, that kind that of stuff. That little flip she did, that was badass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you try to do that? I'm not trying to do that. Leg. No way. Yeah. She did that so smoothly. I was like, wow, they were really you know, she prepared they that one. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're not just rolling as soon no, as you can do No, you're not just That'd running up that thing doing that. It was like on a Tuesday. No way. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and then for um, Hopkins, they let him into prisons. He actually went to court wow. hearings for serial killers. They gave him case files. Wow. They gave him killer profiles, and he did a lot of research for this role. Um, he was actually... He, I mean, a lot of people say this. He said this was his last shot trying to make it in Hollywood. And then he was just going to go back to the UK yeah, and have he a career like a, there because he tried, actor, right? I mean, didn't he? Well, he tried in movies since yeah. the '60s, but like he was having a hard time. And this is like so thirty years he's trying to make it. Um, I think like close to twenty of that it was in Hollywood, and this was his last shot. And oh, yeah. it worked. No. Hey, he's like freaking Hopkins. Everyone knows his name. He's Hollywood royalty, just like that. Yep. I mean, he's. Such a oh, dick. Really? Is he? Such a dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of surprising because I love him. Uh, like, uh, you know, he's really good. He's a really good actor. But in the, at least for this movie, the behind the scenes of him talking, he comes across as such an ungrateful oh, dick. Wow. Uh, sounds right. <laughs> it's really weird. He makes it seem like like he spent his life being trying to be a good actor. But then when people talk, like ask him about his methods and stuff, he's just like, it's just acting. It's not rocket science. I come in, I say my lines, go home. That's it. And then people are like, what about uh, Jodie Foster? Wasn't she great? And he's like, yeah, she was okay. You know, she came in, did her lines. She did her job. That's all, that's all we're doing. We're okay, just actors. Well, that's not here. so bad. Like, what? I, I prefer that to bad. people thinking they're like, the, you know, this is the most amazing it's, thing it's, that anybody could ever do. Well, in yeah, Army they're great. both bad, but there's a middle ground of like, yeah, my coworkers did a great job. We made a lot of that's money. Corporate. The project was successful. People yeah. like You're it. You're talking corporate day. Yeah. You could be in the middle. You can still try to make I something so. good. I, don't, I think when these assholes just have pessimist. money. Well, he's not mean care. about it. He treats the people around him nice, right? Or I don't know. Does he? Hey, no. Oh, he treats he really? them like they're he's, a lot, mean. not as, you know. like Jonathan Demi oh, didn't really? like him. Like he improved a lot. And Jonathan Demi kept his mouth shut because he's a really nice guy. But 
came out afterwards saying that he did not appreciate how much um, they had to redo. He was well, improving. Yeah. Seemed to go. They, they kept a lot of it in the edit, and it worked say, for the movie. It but still like, was pretty time, fucking annoying. He wasn't loving yeah, right. Anthony Hopkins. Might have been. Yeah. Might have been why. And Jodie Foster yeah, was afraid of him. Well, I guess he doesn't just show Hollywood. up and say his lines. Then does he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the weird thing. He was doing other <laughs> stuff too. Yeah. He didn't hit his mark and he's say his lines. See why he's an asshole, John. Yes. Thank you, DC. You're helping me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> people can have that opinion, but the way he was coming across sure. was kind of diminishing what they right. did. Because, I mean, it is hard to do. To take, to make a movie this mm. good is very hard to do, and the whole thing is, like, iconic from front to back, and more so than almost any other movie that we've watched out of the best movies ever. Like, this one has some of the most iconic images and lines yeah. and, characters. and scenes yeah. Out of anything, which is crazy because it's also pretty gory and people like it's so good that people who don't normally watch stuff with gore in right. it can watch this and will struggle through the parts they don't like just because everything else is so good. Right. That makes sense. I so mean, there's something there. And then there's freaking Anthony Hopkins being like, eh, you know, it's not too hard. It's just minimizing it, you know, whatever. I don't know. He's probably had a bad day. Maybe. Or I don't know. Maybe this is after <laughs> also if this is a standing up for you know, Hopkins well, this is a later interview, maybe he's just sick to death of talking about it. So that it, it's possible it's a later interview. My God, I, the amount of times that they've, wasn't that awesome? Weren't you awesome? Wasn't this really good? Fuck off. It, I just did a job. I went and did my job. Leave me alone. I, I can't, how many times am I supposed to say I was awesome? That was awesome. They were awesome. I'm really tired. Please. I just want to go drink. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's a, it's sounds a like John is point. A, I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. The um, there was a moth wrangler. Of course. You know, oh, you yeah, gotta have a moth, moth wrangler because there was a real yeah. moths. They tied a bunch of the moths to tiny sticks so they could like um, fly them in specific directions. A lot of the time, mm. a lot of the time, the moth wrangler would be behind the guy operating the camera, and he'd be like tossing moths yeah. Go on, over Susie. the guy, like to, him, to float in front of the thing. Go on. Yep. Uh, and he actually worked on the special effects too. So the scene where they had uh, they were dissecting the um, the cocoon, that guy, the moth wrangler, right. built that, and it was a uh, a painted nail. So like the the little pattern you see was on a painted fake nail, and he painted the fake nail and put it inside that thing and rigged up a thing to like shoot goo out of the sides. Yeah. Of it. He built that moth entire thing, and this guy just like not just a moth wrangler, yeah. It's yeah. pretty good, right? I mean, yes. I feel like that kind of thing, you know, you need a couple side hustles with it. You probably right? should. <laughs> you, want, you want special effects? I got special effects. Well, I'm a moth I'm wrangler. I'm also a stuntman you know, on Saturdays. That's right. uh, <laughs> yeah, moth wrangling. You know, maybe I get one <laughs> yeah. of those jobs every three years. Right. Where's the moth wrangler? So you need moth wrangler and moth special effects? Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Wow. I'm the Did one you guy. Like all the right I am person. the guy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is my time that's to right. shine. This is yes. my, this is be my yeah, best picture. Work. That guy, <laughs> that guy, friggin' living that's his right. dream, winning best picture, being like the most specific thing anyone's ever been in the world. Uh, and also, so when they um, pulled, so all the dead bodies were real. Like, I'm. Pff, all the dead bodies were human alive actors. Okay. How about that? That makes Much a lot better. more sense. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, the way you said it didn't sound right. <laughs> Buzz real, for very vague. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, that bodies were real. Like, oh, were just yeah, that explains killed. why it looks so <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> just corpses yeah. on the screen. Oh. Uh, no, but they were just uh, alive people okay. in makeup and stuff. Um, and when they pulled the uh, the cocoon out of that woman's throat, it was real. Like they just the editing was good, where they they kind of put it down there and wow. then pulled it back up. But they needed to make it edible, so in case yeah, they right. dropped She'd it, live. she could swallow it and not die. So what it was, it was a gummy bear. And like, I don't think it was chewed up, but like Tootsie Roll wrapped around the gummy bear. So it was just like oh. candy. Oh. So it was a gummy bear within a bunch of like mushed up sure. Tootsie Roll. Wow. Okay. Was what that Handle was. Handle that. Good special effects. Couldn't no, tell it was not a you know, well. no. cocoon. If you're going to watch the special features, skip the commentary track. There's a historian guy that's not the most annoying historian, but one of the most useful top tier use, useless. Or useless rather. That's that the opposite. I do the opposite important. of what I said. When you yeah. mean... The opposite of what you say. The thing. There's lots of awkwardness. Yeah. Really boring, terrible. Really? The guy basically reading like a Wikipedia huh. page. But there's a featurette that's like an hour and a half long documentary with like all the main people. They got together 10 years afterwards to talk about it. And that one was pretty good. They had like behind the scenes footage. They had all the people on the production and acting side talk about all the 
all the stuff there. So that was definitely worth watching. Um, the actor who played the woman in the well had to gain 25 pounds for that role. Wow. That was part of her agreements. Wow. Which is what just a weird agreement. You just get a fat person? Right. Yeah. I, I tried. They didn't say why they got like a not fat actor to gain right. weight as opposed to just like, I mean, she was awesome she was in this good, role. Yeah. She was very good. So maybe she killed the audition and they're like, you're not fat right. enough. You have to gain weight. I don't know. Yeah, we like, like you. We but love it, you but gotta, like, yeah. you're not big enough. You're getting out to go get fat. Or, and also, like, if you get a fat actor, like, maybe they can't lose the weight. Maybe you're just more unsure that they can actually, mm-hmm. like, get lower. I don't I know. Don't. I'm just guessing. Not going to try to figure that one out. Yeah. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. Uh, so, what? So John, you read the book. They said there was a lot of line changes from the script. I mean, there was improv and stuff, but was the dialogue a no, lot different than no, what you read? I, I, I mean, no, I, it's not word for word, but the the tones, the themes, the way things are said, the way Hannibal talks, how he talks, it's a lot of that is already in the book. Like, there's there's not big huh. surprises there. It, it's sometimes the words are different, or they might add or something. But you know, the line like "Love your suit" that's in the book. Like, that's a great line. Love the suit. But it, there's some other yeah. stuff that might be ad lib. The breastfeeding. He, he mentions the breastfeeding stuff, but but in the movie he goes into a lot more detail. All, all he says is like, "Oh, you breastfeed her? Thirsty work, isn't that it?" That scene was cut out of the television version. That was yeah, creepy yeah. as hell. He, he goes he into that. a lot more detail. The book doesn't do that, but a lot of the lines, the scenes, it's really in the book. The book is just like set up. It's it like tees it up for this film with the characters and the dialogue. And maybe there's a lot of changes or improvs, but. I think if you read the book and who knows the script, I imagine follows it, you get a real good sense of these characters, how they talk and the kinds of things that they would say. And so I don't know. I, I How hard is it to read the book though and read Hannibal and not hear Anthony, well, now, Anthony Hopkins, that, the way he delivers yeah, the lines in your right, head. But, but, right? but the, the sort of like playfulness and the seriousness that, that really comes through in the book. Like, like it, it's the book is very straightforward. It's like a really easy read in a good way. And and these characters are described very starkly. Like that's this guy's this. This is how he talks. This is what he does. It's not like allu- things aren't alluded to. Um, and so yeah, maybe it's hard to make that separation. Sounds like Cormac yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. You ever, yeah. Is it not, like that? not as fucking depressing, but yeah, um, yeah. It, it's it's a lot like that, and it's so it's very easy to read. And again, you're right. It's hard to separate it, but. I still don't. I'm not like. I'm not seeing any of the dialogue and thinking. Oh, this. this I, I can't see how you. This is you wouldn't just read it. Twist. His voice. His voice is one of the most memorable acting oh, yeah. voices. Yeah, yeah. For the a character way he does it movie. is, is so just, true. Yeah, and and his eyes without blinking and how he just kind of he does the stare. They the do first the first shot of him, which he's walking up to the, the cell guy. and he's just standing there he in the middle of it, just back straight, perfect posture, fucking creepy as hell. Yeah, it really was so good. All right, gotta freeze up. Shoot. Uh, all right, oh. still going through. Yeah, trivia. My, my screen froze for a little bit there. Sorry. Uh, the the body fat. So one of the things they had to, I guess they they thought it was a first. They didn't, you know, research this. But this movie did a lot of the gore stuff first. Like this was 1991, and they had a lot of the autopsy scenes with like, you know, chopping up body gore stuff, pretty detailed in this movie. And they didn't really have the special effects guys didn't have anything to go on. So they looked at actual, um, you know, autopsy reports and they experimented with a bunch of stuff. And they noticed that when you peel someone's skin off, they don't you don't take the fat like the skin is separate from the fat. So when you peel it off, there's fat underneath it. So they needed to like that was a lot of what the special effects were on the bodies were how to pattern the fat out. And, you know, before watching this movie or if you didn't know, you would think that it's just like a layer of fat, but it's pockets of it. So they needed to like make these little pockets like they do in this movie. And they did that by combining pastini with KY jelly and putting it on the people's Ooh, backs. Interesting. In this movie. Nice. It's pasta. I think pa- is pasta just like short pasta is pastini short pasta? I don't know. That's what don't that is. Know. I assume that was sure a either. special kind of pasta. Like tortellini. You're coming at pastini. us with half Maybe. trivia. Denny. Yeah, that's right, Denny. He said pastini. I figure <laughs> you guys might know about pastini. That's what I uh it's a bad assumption. Yeah. Pastini, I mean, like little pasta. Pastini is a that's what I think. a chain of restaurants. Uh pastina? Pastini is what he said. Well, we'll figure it out. Keep looking, John. Um they they went through a bunch of mask ideas. They just brought a bunch of masks in and put them on Anthony Hopkins and saw which ones looked the creepiest. And the one where his nose was smushed, kind of the uh, field hockey yeah. one, that one went out. And then also the one with a little yeah. metal mouth, that one also went out. Um, but trial and error there. 
Uh, Francis Bacon paintings were a huge influence on the extravagant gore parts. The one that's most notable is the one where the guy's being hung outside of the, uh, the cage. That's pretty close to an actual painting from Francis Bacon. Um, the asylum was real locations. Um, the jail portion was a set, uh, and they, they tried for a while to figure out how they were going to film the jail conversations between, uh, Lecter and, uh, Clarice because, <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of scenes there. It's very important. They couldn't get it right. And cause they, they would try different spacings between the bars. Like he had bars mm-hmm. in his cell for a while and they would literally build different distances between the bars to see if, how, how they could film it and keep it interesting. And somebody was just like, what if we just had a glass? Mm-hmm. You know, someone, someone on the crew was just like, what if it was just glass? What if he had a glass one? They're like, yep, yeah, perfect. Did, great. Why didn't, know, we didn't think of that, that earlier? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I've been, been making all these glass. fucking bars. You could have said that earlier. Like, yeah, you know, make them wider, make them. Everyone smaller. was thinking it. The, everyone thought oh, it was a stupid idea. The bar guy doesn't care. Yeah, I mean, it's like, free. It's right. work. Bar, bar guy's already are, done like ten different things. Yeah. He wanted his bars in the he's film, man. And they're not even in the film. He spent weeks with. Oh, the don't bars. worry, they're in someone else's. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. He's the bar guy. That's fine. You know, everyone was excited once they got to the that decision, except for the sound guy. Because he was worried about how they were going to do oh. the sound because of the the glass, but they figured it out. Yeah. Um, the scenes where they were filming um, the girl in the well and Buffalo Bill up top were very intense for everyone on the crew, but for the uh, the girl in the well, and I apologize for not knowing her name, um, she was great. She said it was like primal scream therapy. Mm. That in between takes, she felt fantastic. <laughs> where she felt like Just as calm as anyone. Yeah. Like she she got out of that because that was like a they built that well on the second story so that like they built it down into a house and it was, she was actually like in a well and she was trapped down there for long periods of time because there was a trap door and it was small and then they had to bury it in dirt to do the takes. So like once she was in there, she couldn't like leave for the day basically. Oh wow. Uh, peeing was an issue. It was hard to get the trap door open. So sometimes they'd give her a ladder to climb out if she really needed to go. Um, but she was down there for days, but yep. she was great. They would check in with her every time. Her acting was so scary that everyone on the crew was like nervous and upset, but she was good. And Buffalo Bill was also good because they had like, you know, they checked in with each other to make sure they weren't damaging each other's minds, I guess, with what they were doing. Brooke Smith is her name, by the way. Yeah. Brooke Smith. She's done a lot of stuff too. She she also had a long stint on Grey's Anatomy. Nice. Is that good? If you like Grey's Anatomy, yes. She's in sure. a lot of we'll TV. Leave it with good. A lot of movies. You know? Yeah. And that's it. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Pus. I forgot to mention at the top. Pause. Pastina oh, is technically any small shape Pastina. of pasta. Pastina. Yeah. So he's got it wrong. Like tiny pasta. So, what was I going to Top 250. Oh. Yes. Best horror movie ever? Yes. Best horror movie ever? I... Is yes. it even a horror movie? <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's fair. The louder it's, I say it, the more it's true. Yes. I, oh, well then. <laughs> Top 250, oh, sure. though, John. Yeah, yeah. That's the real question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we got to go yes on the top 250. Right. But I can see it to be debatable, I guess, for the all time uh, position. I don't know. But I don't know what else I would put in its place. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. If, I mean, it, it's it's definitely deserves to be ranked high, and like some of the other ones we've seen lately, but uh, as high as mm. this. <laughs> Agreed. It's always nice to point. like watch one and be like, "This this deserves, this deserves no to be there." About it. There's right. no ranking. Yet. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to saying, "Why is yeah. this film ranked higher Even than like yeah. list, many others that we've right. seen are so much better?" Is IMDb comprised of all twelve year old boys? That's what fair, the hell's yeah. going on here? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we pick the, this list? There's so many other lists. We hey, love this one. You know, I you know who, I don't know who's fault this, but we gotta find them and we gotta make a pay. It's okay to enjoy the professional. So, um, yeah. that's true. And the usual yeah, suspects too. too. What? Yep. <laughs> I don't know about that one. All right. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went along with you, but then I had to stop. And then you thought so about speaking it. <laughs> of, speaking of best crime, drama, thriller, slash potentially horror we movies, got, next week yep, is seven. What's in the box? 1995. What's in the box? Let's just do all the horror yes. movies at once. All, all right, right. Let's do seven. Sweet. Oh, and I, and I didn't mention at the beginning of the episode, we're in the, t- the uh, this movie is the 25th, last one. Holy is that right? shit. It's number 24. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're running we're out of episodes. There. We're running out of eps. Wow. All right. 
should all be smooth sailing from here on out. I love it. These will be great oh, movies. We're delay longer. Yeah. Eh, we'll figure something else out. There's yeah, more lists. to figure it out. There's more lists. You know? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's fair. All right. All right, guys. All right, see you later, boys. See you later. Later, guys. Bye, guys.